Hi, I'm Alex. Uh, I'm a fourth year mechanical engineer, um, and this is why I'm a Christian. Uh, so I guess it all began when I was um, from a very young age. Uh, I had parents that both went to church, uh, and I can't remember a time where I haven't been to church. Um, I guess I was quite fortunate. Uh, I talked to lots of people around uh, university, and I think lots of people have had maybe bad experiences with church, um, but. I was quite fortunate in that. I went to a really exciting church. Uh, it was always packed full of people uh, from all kind of backgrounds, all races, all social statuses, and um, and it was a really exciting place to be. Um, um, and every uh, every kind of fortnight or so, we'd have people uh, stand up and share about how Jesus has transformed their lives. Um, and it was clear that all of these people um, had discover discovered something amazing. Um, and, uh, and from kind of knowing them and seeing them week in, week out, it was clear from their lives that, um, that it, they were not living for themselves, but they're living for something kind of far greater, um, and that this Jesus kind of really meant everything to them. Um, but I guess for myself, um, I, um, my life was, was, I guess, always about me. Uh, I went to church, I prayed, I did all the kind of the Christian things, but um, when it came down to it, I, I was really concerned about myself. Um, and as I grew up, as I went to boarding school when I was 13, um, my life just became more and more empty. Uh, I was so con uh, concerned about myself and that um, when things didn't work out, it crushed me. Uh, I became very depressed and I actually started pushing people away from me. Um, and uh, yeah, life became very, very empty. Um, but then there was, uh, when I got 16, I went on a Christian camp um, and uh, this, this one guy came and he was speaking uh, about, uh, uh, about Jesus and uh, there was one thing he said that really struck me. He said, um, uh, quoting Jesus, he says, um, everyone who wishes to gain their life uh, will lose it, but those who lose their life for me will gain it. Um, when we're trying to live for ourselves, for our own success, for our own gain, when we're number one in our lives, um, you know, it leads to nothing, it leads to an empty life, but um, if you really want to define life to the full, then start living for Jesus. Um, and it really challenged me because I, I'd seen that I tried living for myself and I found myself uh, empty. So I went away from uh, that camp and I started to try and read about this Jesus for myself. Um, and I was really, I was really challenged. Um, I, as I started reading through what Jesus said, I saw how actually uh, I wasn't that good a person. Um, I'd always thought I'd, I'd been better than everyone else, but as I read this, it was clear that um, I, I was actually um, very far from God. But what I was astounded by was um, that even though it was so clear that I had uh, fallen short of God's standards uh, and uh, I wasn't living for what God wanted in a way that God wanted, uh, that Jesus was willing to, um, to come and even though he was perfect and he was uh, good, uh, he was willing to take my place by dying on the cross uh, for the things that I've done and for myself as living so that I could um, be accepted by God. Um, and it just blew me away. Um, and I found myself praying to Jesus saying, that, Jesus, I've, I've prayed to you all my life, but you know what, I've missed the point. Um, please forgive me for everything I've done wrong. Uh, I, really want to, I really want to start living for you. Um, and the change in my life was dramatic. Uh, over that summer of just investigating Jesus for myself, uh, I went from this guy that was um, depressed um, uh, to someone that was um, just joyful and just full of, like, my friend said that I'd become a new person. Um, and the truth was, it felt like it. My, my, that emptiness I had was um, just gone and instead that I just wanted to tell everyone about how amazing Jesus was. Um, and so now like, I can stand here and with confidence say that, um, that as uh, with all those people that I heard at church when I was younger, um, I've, I've met Jesus and he has changed my life. Um, God has given me a happiness that, um, that kind of, no matter what the circumstances are, um, keeps me going. And uh, I'm daily amazed that even though I still fall short of God's standards, even though I still, you know, a lot of time live for myself, that um, because of Jesus, uh, I'm accepted by God, and God sees me as, sees me as perfect. Um, and I can say as well with confidence uh, that I have a relationship with God, um, and every day I experience in my life uh, through 
circumstances, um, through the way he changes circumstances in my life, through the way he answers prayers, uh, through when I'm reading the Bible, um, and um, and it's it's truly it's truly amazing. Um, and this all may sound very confusing, um, but if um, if it is, I, I really encourage you um, that you should go away and try and see for yourself.